Hey guys, I'll work on the shop tonight and figured I'd share a tutorial with you on how I use my laser to do marquetry. Um, and a customer sent me a piece of artwork he wanted to engrave in the bottom of this box, um, but because I'm using apply, I don't know what's underneath it, there could be voids or gaps, so we decided to do some marquetry instead. Um, so the basic idea here is we're going to use the laser to cut out the image um, and then also use the laser to cut some veneer that will fit inside there um, and make it look much better. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to be showing you the process uh, on one of these boxes. I actually didn't realize I'm going to do a video until I was a little bit later so I skipped a step but basically the only step you're going to miss between uh, where the rest of the video picks up and where I started is uh, using some masking material like this to mask off the bottom of this box and the rest of it uh, I'll do in time lapse. Mask material serves two purposes. One, it allows me to mark directly on the piece I'm going to be engraving, making sure that I'm dead center. Um, at this point I'm marking off exactly where the engraving is going to be. And the second purpose is it protects the underlying wood that isn't going to be engraved from the fumes um, and bastard detritus that comes off as the engraver cuts. Um, once the uh, engraving is finished here, we can just pull the masking material off directly, uh, scrape off a little bit of the fumes on the uh, on the plywood that is underneath there, and we should be good to go. The uh, art file the customer sent me, I uh, vectorized it using Corel, and then um, made sure that each of the different um, curves listed here have a hairline and uh, outline on, in a color that my laser understands to be vector. So what I can do here is I can send the same file over and do not only the engraving but the vectoring on the exact same file, uh, which ensures that I, you know, I don't screw it up. Not totally sure what happened with this clip, but what I'm trying to explain here is that I'll use the, the same image to vector cut out a piece of either eighth inch uh, acrylic or plywood in this case um, to use as a jig to clamp directly over the veneer piece. Um, this way I can create clamping pressure on just the actual marquetry and not the remainder of the piece um, so that I can make sure that it sits in there exactly the way I want. Now that we've got our blank cut out, I'll show you what I mean here. So I've got one side that's got a, a finish on it, one side that doesn't. Um, and I can apply this directly over the veneer. And now when I create clamping pressure on this, it will be exactly where I need it to be. So the next steps are to remove our veneer. We'll use a little cold press, cold press glue um, get that on there, put our veneer down, put some clamping pressure on it, and then come back tomorrow and see what it looks like. If you have means to spread this uh, cold press glue mechanically, that's best. Meaning you've got a, uh, exactly even coating everywhere. Uh, it's a little bit finicky to get it exactly right. You need to have the same thickness all over, otherwise you'll be able to see it through your veneer. I got it pretty close here, but it could certainly be better. All right, so it's next morning. Let's see how we did. At this point, the veneer is still a little bit proud of the surface, so I decided to come in with uh, I think some 400 grit sandpaper and just get everything uh, nice and level and smooth. And there you go. Add a little top coat and you're done. Thanks for watching.